Hey gang, it's Coach Tim here, and for all you bread lovers, I've got a very relevant topic to discuss with you today, and you can find all the details in the article. Um, I'm just going to kind of run through some of, some of the ideas that we're going to cover, but I don't know if you've taken a stroll down bread aisle recently at your local grocery store, but it's pretty overwhelming. Um, you'll see all kinds of terms ranging from whole wheat to whole grain, 100% whole wheat, 100% whole grain, made with wheat, made with whole grains, so on and so forth. Um, just just a lot of stuff going on there and wanting to help you kind of navigate through things um, in the event that if you do choose to include bread in your diet, that you make the best possible choice for yourself. So let's start with, uh, let's start with the question, what is a whole grain? Basically, whole grains are those that contain three elements that occur naturally in the grain of nature. So you have the bran, the germ, and the endosperm. The bran is going to be a very good source of fiber, antioxidants, and some B vitamins. The germ is going to be a very good source of B vitamins, minerals, protein, and healthy fats. And the endosperm is basically going to be the starch or all the carbs that are in that grain. Um, so why are whole grains important? Uh, a lot of studies, these are now these are observational in nature, which means they're showing a correlation, they're not showing a, that they're proving a causation or anything like that. Um, but a lot of these studies have shown a correlation between diets that are high or rich in whole grains and better health outcomes like lower risk of type 2 diabetes, lower cardiovascular disease, less risk of stroke. Um, and also better weight management and lower mortality altogether. Um, and so how do whole grains help or how could they potentially help in these situations? Well remember, whole grains are gonna be a rich source of fiber, uh, certain vitamins and minerals, and antioxidants. And altogether these, when you look at the data, these nutrients could help lower blood pressure, they could help improve endothelial function, they could help lower markers of inflammation, they could improve insulin sensitivity. So those are some areas that whole grains may have a beneficial effect. So the next question then, especially because we're talking about bread, is what is whole wheat? Well, wheat is one type of grain. There's many types of grains as we'll discuss and whole wheat is one of them. So whole wheat is a whole grain, but not all whole grains are wheat, if that makes sense. Now, since we're talking about bread, there's a number of terms that you're gonna see on the ingredients labels in bread. You're gonna see um, something like whole wheat flour. You're gonna see wheat flour, enriched flour. I've got a whole bunch of terms in the article, things to look out for, um, but these are just a few things that stand out. Of those three that I just mentioned, only whole wheat flour is truly a whole grain. Uh, wheat flour, enriched flour, those are not going to be a whole grain. In fact, those are what are referred to as refined grains, which means that they've had the bran and the germ removed, which means basically the fiber, the antioxidants, most of the vitamins and minerals removed and they're making this flour out of just that starchy, carbohydrate-rich endosperm. So now you might be able to see why diets rich in refined grains do not offer the same benefits as diets rich in whole grains. In fact, diets rich in refined grains tend to be correlated with higher risk of type 2 diabetes, higher incidence of obesity, higher risk of cardiovascular disease, higher risk of certain types of cancer, and so on. So refined grains, not so good. Whole grains, probably pretty healthy. So um, that's just kind of an overview. And like I said, in the article, there's gonna be some things to look for um, in terms of terminology. Uh, one, um, one really potentially helpful tool if you are looking at bread is the Whole Grains Council has come up with a system of optional stamps so companies can get these stamps put on their, their packaging if they meet certain criteria. So um, the USDA says that a, a good target to shoot for is about 48 grams of whole grains per day, which is equivalent to about three ounces. And roughly one slice of 100% whole wheat bread would be one serving. Um, so anyway, to kind of take, you can probably see how you get lost there, to kind of take the guesswork out of things, the Whole Grains Council has come up with some stamps that, that companies can put on um, if they qualify on their packaging. For instance, um, if there's a 100% stamp from the Whole Grains Council on a loaf of bread, it means that um, that a serving meets that 100% criteria for a serving. Uh, whereas if it was a 50% stamp, it would mean that uh, one serving of that bread 
was half a serving uh, of the USDA recommendations. So fairly confusing, but like I said, the, the reminders are in, in the article, so you can use that as reference. Um, but finally, I want to end on one, one important point. So um, if, if, that's, if those are the, the good, better, best choices of breads, what's really the best choices if you choose to include whole grains in your diet? That's an excellent question. And instead of going with a, a, a bread, even though made with refined, or excuse me, made with a whole grain, maybe, maybe healthy, um, true whole grains, true intact whole grains, probably offer even more health benefits. So I'm talking about things like oats, amaranth, quinoa, buckwheat, a true whole wheat, farro, frica, bulgur, um, teff, sorghum. Those are just several examples. Again, the whole list in the article, um, and you can experiment with these things. Uh, they, they just really, you can broaden your, your culinary horizon. So I hope that you found this video helpful, and I hope that you find the article to be a great resource for you. Feel free to share any comments or any questions that you have, and uh, just let us know how we continue to help you live a healthier life. Thanks and have a great day.